how to build a Weebly portfolio. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build your own portfolio website using Weebly for free. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is go on to Weebly.com and then you can just click on create your website over here. Now, once you have done that, Weebly is going to ask you a couple of questions. You're going to have to fill out your email, your number and your country and some personal details. Once you have done that, you're going to be logged into your basic dashboard. So I'm just going to do that and get back to you guys in a second now once you have created your weebly account this is going to be your overall dashboard for your website now we're going to get started with a new website and i'm just going to click on add site over here and i'm going to create a new website now weebly is primarily used for a online store but you can just use it as a website builder and we're just going to click on i just need a website over here and once you have done that you can actually select a theme that you want to start off with now weebly really makes your work a lot more easier if you just go on with their theme and then you can customize their theme according to your own needs and this is going to be a pretty simple way for you to design your website now you can see there are around seven themes for portfolios and obviously there are other themes as well that you can pick from and then you can make them portfolio themes if you want but i am just going to go into the portfolio section and what i'm going to do is i am going to actually select this theme because i really think it's pretty cute and i want to make like a portfolio website for a photography page so jane's photography or something along that line so i'm just going to click on start editing over here now once you have loaded up your templates feebly is going to ask you what kind of features do you need to get started with obviously you can add these features later on but obviously we don't want to sell any items we just want to collect email addresses we want to show instagram feeds include a contact form display location and ours and that's around it so we need these features we don't want to sell any items and i'm just going to click on next now and then obviously you can upload your logo if you already have one i don't have one so i'm just going to skip through and i'm going to select the kind of style i want for my website so there are five styles you can play around with and obviously you're going to customize it later on but i'm just going to select reddish and strong styles so i'm just going to click on finish and just like that, you have a basic template for you to start working with. Now, after that, you can find your custom domain or you can use a Weebly subdomain for free. Obviously, if you want a custom domain, you're going to have to purchase that or use your own domain, which you already own. But I would just suggest that if you want to keep it free, you can just use the Weebly free domain. And let's just say I want Jane's Photography as my domain. So I'm just going to enter that. And I'm just going to check if it's still available. And this one is unavailable. So I'm just going to add a couple of numbers. And I'm just going to use this as the domain name for my website. Now, after that, I can start customizing my website. And to customize the website, you're just going to click on any section that you want to edit. And you can see if I click on the text over here, I can edit it. I'm going to add Jane's photography like this and after that i'm going to remove this main section because i don't really think it really is serving a good purpose so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on hide section and after that what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to go on to the editor over here i'm going to click on done and what i'm going to do is click on add section over here and I'm just going to add a featured item section, but for instead of items, I'm actually going to add uh, different photography images that I have taken that I want to display. So you can do that with the featured item section as well, but I'm going to delete that and I'm going to look for a kind of different way to brand my overall photography. I'm going to click on add section and we're going to add a image gallery like that. So once we go on to image gallery, we're going to click on customize over here and you can pick out the layout you want for your image gallery. So if you want this to be a bit different, if you want it to be in contrasting colors or anything like that, you can do that. And then you can see how you want your images to be displayed. So I want this kind of grid style like this. This looks pretty good and i want three columns like this and i'm going to click on done now you can see i have this nice little section and then if i want to move this up i'm just going to click on the section click on these three dots and i'm going to click on move up and then i'm just going to click on move up again and again to make sure that it is just below my overall introductory page and then i can just click on choose images over here 
I can find free photos to add. I'm just gonna use a few free photos to upload onto my image section for my portfolio website. So I'm just gonna add those. I'm gonna add some more images. So I'll just add two more images to make sure that the entire grid is filled out like so. So after that, I have my basic display of my images. Now after that, I'm going to click on done. And uh, below that, I actually want a description for my uh, imagery or for my photography or my portfolio description. So I'm going to click on add over here, add section. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on text. And I want this to be a straight text one. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to move this up. And I'm just going to move it below the images that I just added. So just below that, I'm going to add this my passion or whatever you want to add for your portfolio. You can add all of those details over here. And then if you want, you can keep an email link section to collect emails, or you can delete the section altogether if you really don't need it. Now, if you want to just display this in a one page format, you can do it like this. But if you want to add a My Work section separately, you're just going to click on Add over here. You're going to click on Add Page. And then you can add a separate page called, you're going to click on Blank Page, and you're going to add My Work like this. And you can have a separate page all together to add all of your work now if you want a separate contact you can do that as well i usually suggest that for portfolios you should keep it simple and use a one page portfolio but if you do have a detailed history of work or you have a very long list of experience you can definitely make separate pages for people to better understand so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own website with weebly after that you're just gonna click on publish and then you're gonna be ready to use weebly as your online portfolio so we're just going to open up our link and you can see that my Jane's Photography 563234 is now live and I can use this as my portfolio website. We are about to end this video and to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and i'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions at the end of the day it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well and at the end i would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel as it helps out our videos a lot and again thank you so much for watching till next time goodbye